Hey, I'm Zig, one of the designers of Goblin Law. Goblin Law is a deck building game for two players in which they try to become the Goblin King by recruiting a bunch of goblins to their cause, getting them to explode each other in a field of destruction. On your turn, you play one goblin from your hand and place bombs according to the present pattern. Uh, players take turn trying to explode each other and making strategic decisions because whenever there are five or more bombs on a space like here that space explodes. You take all of the bombs off that space put one bomb in each adjacent space uh, signifying the shrapnel from that bomb which can ex cause chain reactions. If you ever manage to explode one of your opponent's goblin like this, the goblin is taken off the board and the player who exploded it gets one gold. The player with the most gold at the end of the game wins. Uh, you can also get gold by completing these goblin laws. In your first game you only use these seven different types of goblins. The first three are straightforward, the Gavi, the Marauder, and the Nuker, because they only place bombs on the field. The other four are a bit different. The Diffuser removes bombs off the field when you put him down. Uh, the Thrower, he throws bombs further than anyone else, so he would throw two bombs over one space and over one space here and over one space here but if you ever would throw off the board it bounces off the wall and onto the field. The pushy takes bombs uh, off the square you place him and pushes them away so you can push the bombs in the direction of the P. The miner is different from everyone else because something happens when you play him and something happens every turn after that. So when you play him you put one gold on him and at the start of all of your turns you get to take one gold and put it in your score pile, place another one from the reserve, but you also have to place two bombs on him. So he mines gold for you but he will eventually explode himself. I hope that clarifies things a little bit, and I hope you have fun playing your first game of Goblin Law.